So, Mindy just told me she didn't grab her phone. It's in my hand. I'm looking at it. Uh, we're off the anniversary dinner. She waved her phone at me when she said, I forgot my phone. Do you know how many times I've looked for my phone when I'm talking on it? <laughs> Our 40th anniversary. Yeah, Bugsy and Meyer. Bugsy and Meyer. We're going to Bugsy and Meyer's. Never been there before. Yep. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Oh, we have been to the restaurant bar at Bugsy Myers. We used to do a lot of videos because we called Martini Monday. It was a good excuse to go to new places and for Mindy to try new drinks. This is amazing. If you want to see some of those videos, I'll drop a link right here. Bugsy and Myers restaurant is located at the Flamingo. They have a dining room that's kind of a patio style, and then they have a main dining room. They have a main bar, and then they have a speakeasy. It's a large enough restaurant that it actually has three entrances. The main entrance to the restaurant, the bar entrance, and then we learn that there's a speakeasy entrance directly from the casino. <laughs> I say directly, but it's a little more like a funhouse entrance. Tonight we're dining in the Speakeasy Bar because we've heard very good things about the jazz trio that's playing there. We arrived about 15 minutes early, and we were greeted and seated right away. Because it was our 40th anniversary, we enjoyed the full experience, and they brought us a champagne toast. The head chef, Kenzie Schusler, came out and greeted us. She took time to explain the entire menu to us, answered questions, and we learned the main differences between dry and wet aged steak. If you normally like your steak medium well, she recommends that you order a dry aged steak medium to compensate for that dryness. She said she was going to start us out with oysters and coconut shrimp, but when the chef heard neither one of us care for oysters, she sent us out a full order of coconut shrimp. For appetizers, we also enjoyed a hand cut prime beef tartare. It was very good. That's fine with me. I kind of liked your idea of splitting the filet and the rice for with. But either one is going to be really good. The filet is really good. And it was obvious from the unique flavor that sear is more than just salt and pepper. Really good. Well, when our chef printing comes back, we can ask her. Oh, look at look at the cheese. Got cheesy. Those potatoes are good. When I cut it, I was worried that the filet was tough. But I think that it's just a really dull knife. The filet was very tender. You could cut it with what I had was the equivalent of a butter knife. That short rib is wonderful. Very good. Those noodles are good. How's the food, all right? It's great. Good. Very good. Everyone's cool there for me. I figured if they weren't, somebody would come. Oh, yeah, perfect. Okay, we're all okay. good. Okay. Right. So I hope you guys enjoy your, your food. And well, thank you. After a while, we'd love to get a picture with you if you don't mind. Sure. Of course, yeah, that's cool. Are you on Facebook or? Yeah, yeah, it's uh, Moonshiners LV on Instagram. Oh, okay. So, okay. Moonshiners LV, either the Moonshiners. Savannah would know, she's she's the matriarch of Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll go on and play about until 10 o'clock and then we take a break. Okay. So, yeah. I'll be right back with cocktails. I just want to make sure everything is good. Everything's Very good. good. <laughs> Get in the middle. Get in. Okay, I don't know. I'll get in the middle. Okay. Okay, there we go. 
Now, when it comes to cocktails, I love a good old fashioned. And Bugsy and Myers has a full page of what they call the old fashioned experience. Oh, that smells so good. Uh, thank you. I'll be right back with some more water. Is there anything else I can get for you? No, we're good. Thank you. And it rarely ever happens, but I really like Mindy's drink. It tasted like a strawberry smoothie. Oh, ho, ho, that's good. I think you'll like that. Mm. Good, huh? It's like a strawberry milkshake. I know. What's it called? Prisoner of Love. It's good. <laughs> that is really good. That's why I said, oh, I think you'll like this one. I think we both agreed that the best bites of the night were that short rib and the pasta that came with it. We were very full and very satisfied, so we skipped dessert and just had a couple of more cocktails. After dinner, we headed back to the Paris, so we made it back in time for one of their new Moulin Rouge style shows. We made it back in time for the show, but uh, we're not the only ones that heard about it because the seating area and, and most of the standing room was full already. And that's too bad, because it, it looked like the kind of show you'd like to have a front row seat for. And if you made it this far in the video, we really appreciate you watching our videos. And we thank you.